Alright guys, so tonight we are running a special excursion. As you can see, led. It's led by 4449, the daylight, yes. Yes. So we're running an excursion here out of San Diego. We'll be running this up the coast here to San Clemente, California. A backwards version of the route we did on Sunday, which we did from San Clemente to San Diego. Let's see, we're in beautiful downtown San Diego here. As the summer sun is shining, wherever it may be, yes. Shining brightly upon us. It was hot today, guys, in Southern California here in Los Angeles. We have fires. We have 100 degree weather. It's wild. But anyways, welcome to the stream. Welcome to Hybrid Hobby. Hello, everyone's having a great, great night. So, without further ado, Let's go ahead and get the train loaded up. Chris! Chris Scott! Chris Scott! Welcome to Hybrid Hobby! Welcome, our first new sub of the day. What's up, man? Welcome. Alright, so let's go ahead and load our train up. Go ahead and get to the back of it here. As you guys can see, we have our beautiful Observation Empire Builder car trailing on the back. So we're going to go ahead and load up here while we're in San Diego. I should get everyone here on the train, everyone boarding. Come on. Let's go. That's a very beautiful station, you guys. This is downtown San Diego Santa Fe Station. For those of you, I know there's some fans in the building here right now. Or some fans in the chat that love this station. So this is a nice view of the station there for you guys here. And there's our train. Let's go ahead and get back up here. And as you can see, we have two diesel helvets. Now, we're going to be basically uh, running this, obviously, up Miramar grade. So I thought the extra... I usually would run with just probably one loco to back up 4449 on a normal route. But I know there's a little bit of a grade here, and we want to maintain our speed. So I got our ES44 helper and a Dash 8 Amtrak loco helping. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and depart downtown San Diego with our beautiful daylight 4449. Yes, it's been quite a long time since a steam locomotive has actually visited San Diego. So I thought maybe I could bring that to you guys today and revisit that a little bit. All right, all aboard! We are off. Brakes is released. Make sure the reverser is set. And we have the rumble. Awesome. We are rolling here. So speed limit is going to be 15 miles per hour through downtown here. So we want to make sure... Oh, that bell sounds horrible. <laughs> the horn sounds nice, though. Ah, oh, was epic. There she goes, chugging out of downtown. We do have somewhat of a slow speed limit here leaving. We don't want to go too fast. Oh, we are right now. We're about. No, I was still, I think, at the 15 mile per hour speed limit. Oh. Oh, hold on, guys. I don't know what just happened there. Give me one second. Oh, accidentally clicked on the right monitor. I'm sorry about that, guys. All right, and we are off here. We are departing downtown San Diego. Uh, we have just been cleared for a 50 mile per hour zone, so we're gonna go ahead and throttle up here. Always wanted to do this. The little kid. Oh, I'm 
one more grade crossing. Now listen to that. There's a lot of great crosses I forgot in downtown. All right, screenshot time, guys. Ah, we're moving. We are off. All right, so this is going to be a direct run to San Clemente. I'm making no stops. This is a straight express train. We're going to do San Diego to San Clemente here. No stopping at any small stations like we did with the Surfliner. No Sorrento Valley. Nothing like that. Uh, so we are right around 50, so we're going to go ahead and just keep it there. moving in route to San Clemente a tour up the coast with daylight 4449 very nice guys so we are making good speed here let's see where we're at 46 miles per hour we've got a 65 here getting ready to clear go ahead and give it a little bit of speed throttle here no Chris tonight since it is kind of late we're just heading up to San Clemente tonight quick run up the coast the hot day here in Los Angeles today and I thought I need a nice little cooling off with some train simulator, you know? I want to be able to simulate running along the Pacific Ocean. I know if many of you might be on the East Coast tonight, so I know that everyone can actually, you know, stay up very late to see the streams. So, oh, it's okay, we'll just go to San Clemente. That way we can see most of it. I might do a part two later, though, guys. We are cruising here. Yeah, we reach the 65, however, we don't have much room to really increase the speed too much. Because we do have to slow to that 50, and then uh, real quickly a 75 after that. Uh, yes, FGC Gaming, I do have 844. Uh, you can check back some of my previous YouTube videos. I've run a couple UP44 or 844 excursions. I think we did a live stream with one, actually, couple, maybe about two months ago. But 844 is actually one of my favorite steam locomotives on this game. Very, very, very well beat, uh, well built uh, piece of software there, piece of DLC. A little bit of break here. We do have that 50 mile per hour zone coming up and then that 70, so we don't want to speak too much. And I might not even continue to use that bell. That bell's going to getting a little on my nerve. <laughs> I'm looking at changing that. There she goes. Ah, I gotta pick up the. Amtrak P44 Decon on the way. Interesting. It's a good idea, huh? Ah, a Southern Pacific 4449 versus 844 video. I have one of them in the works. There is one in the works right now. I, I'm kind of producing uh, with some cool, cool stuff. I'm going to actually go in depth with the two locomotives, you know? Instead of just racing them. I want to really go in depth, review both locomotives side by side. It's going to be cool. That movie's going to drop too. You guys, big things are coming from Hybrid Hobby. I am making a return like no tomorrow, going full steam ahead with everything here. It's Hybrid freaking Hobby's time for domination. Uh, up our reverse a little bit more here to get a little bit more steam power, hopefully, going to the loco. Ah, oh, GC, that'd be sweet. That'd be really sweet. I mean, awesome sight to see, I agree. Here we go, 
we're going to go ahead and try to maintain our speed here because I know the grade is coming up very soon. We want to make sure we have all the adequate power to get up of it. As you can see, it is our train. Not too long of a train today. Just a basic excursion, nothing too crazy. Something typical you'd see along the coastline here for, you know, 3751 or something did an excursion. Nothing crazy, like I said. You know, I was going to do a scenario video tonight. But don't worry, I'm, I'm going to plan on doing at least two to three streams now per week average. That way you guys will be able to get all sorts of stuff, a variety of things. From free runs, to scenarios, to career. That would be cool. That would be really cool if they made an extension on this route. I agree. That's something I've always wished for as well. This was actually the first route I think I ever had on Train Simulator. And I've always wished for the same thing. I agree. I wish the Escondido branch too. You could do the Sprinter, you know, through Escondido. That'd be really cool. We are, let's check our map here. So we're kind of up to a 65 here, so we want to lower our speed just a tad bit as we cruise along Mission Bay here in San Diego. Very beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the throttle down here, get our speed down to 65. Ah, looks like a rainbow consist. Very cool. Very cool. Like an Amtrak rainbow consist, too. The good old days. I cannot activate the horns on the BNSF locomotive, no Amtrak locomotive, no. Only the horn on the 4449 at this point. Alright, so we are starting our approach here to the Miramar Grade, it looks like. It's going to the single track territory. Go ahead and get off speed here. We're going to want to probably stay right around 60 here. So we got that 55 mile per hour zone coming up in about, about a mile. And a 35 in about a mile and a half. A little more than a mile and a half. I do not have the Flying Scotsman on this game. No, I do not. You know, it's just, I'm not really into UK trains too much. It's something I... Probably start getting into more and more now as we get a little older here, but I've never really been into them too much. I definitely will start trying to get into them as more though. I definitely know what the flying saucepan is though. Yes, I do have electric trains. And we got the East Northeast Corridor, New York, New Haven. All sorts of stuff is coming. Like I said, I plan on streaming at least two to three times a week. So calculate that by the amount of time and amount of week left in the year. We have a lot of streams to go this year, guys. I think it's going great over here at the Hybrid Hobby. We're making a comeback like no tomorrow. Like I said, full steam ahead. Alright, so we have a 35 mile per hour zone coming up, so we're going to want to head and decrease speed here, coming into that. As we round the curves here at Miramar. Great. Consist quietly coast by. Uh, I have a, a lot of stuff. I the, I think the only U.S. route I don't have is uh, the West Palm Beach. And the only reason I don't have that is I have so much, you know, other content. I just have to explore and run with you guys. I have every West Coast route. I don't have the um. Well, I think for North American routes, I don't have West Palm Beach. I don't have the the uh, the ore the iron ore steam era route that just came out. And I don't have the narrow gauge route. Any of the narrow gauge. Definitely, definitely want to get into it. Uh, listen to this train. Listen to it. Huff and puff up the grade here. But a 1.5% grade. 44.49's battling it. I 
Oh, and we're speeding. All right. Very nice. School is good. School is good. Ah, yes. The PRRT1. Great concept. Great concept. How fast South Pacific 41 can go? I know how fast it can go, but I want to know if you know. Oh. Well. I don't know, Liam. That's a good question. Tell me. I'm curious. I want to know what you know. Let me know. How, how fast does 4449 go? What is the top speed of 4449? She goes. She is beauty, isn't she? Here we are in cab. There's windows open. There we go. There we go. Alright. Very nice. The only thing I don't like is when you stick your head out, the gauges kind of lose quality there. You can kind of see. All right, so we're about a 1% grade right now. As far as I know, for 44.49, it has the uh, daylight, and only, I believe, has the 44.49 numbering. I don't think you can get any numbers. And then you have the Freedom Train, you have the BNSF Employee Appreciation Livery, and then you also have a War Baby. The war baby's cool because the war baby comes in different liveries, though. Very cool, actually. Oh, excuse me, different liveries? What the hell am I saying? Different numbers. Different numbers. Yes, Chris, yes. I definitely have the racetrack. I like the racetrack. It's a cool, cool route. I like doing a lot of the uh, local freights. There's a lot of branch line, actually, to explore on the racetrack route. And I like running the commuter trains, too. I might do, actually, a racetrack stream pretty soon. I really... I was actually going to do one tonight. That's funny you say that, Chris. I was actually going to bring one to you guys tonight, but I decided to do 4449. I know I had a lot of requests from some of the hybrid hobby nation. Ah, 110 miles per hour. 110. That's nice. Very nice. Yeah, she's a fast machine. Absolutely. She's a beauty, too. Ah, Milwaukee 261. Also a great locomotive. Very nice. I have the, you know, I want to run the SPNS 484 Northern 2 pretty soon here on the stream. I have that loco, I haven't really run it at e either. Oh, the Bessemer and Lake Erie route. Exactly, the Iron Ore route. That's the name of it. I couldn't remember the name. Yeah, I definitely want to get that route, actually. That seems like a pretty cool route, too. I actually love Santa Fe type steam locos. Maintaining decent speed. We're going about 60. And right now we're coming up to a 50 zone. Our speed limit 65. So not bad. The diesels are providing great traction here to keep us going up this grade. All right. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and regulate speed here. Decrease just a tad bit to bring us down to 50. It looks like we might be reaching the peak here. We're going to go to 30, so we're going to have to regulate the downhill here. So we're going to watch the break once we get on after the crest here of the grade. Ah, Trains of New Era. Yes, I do have Trains New Era. I don't play it that often, though. I really prefer Train Simulator over Trains New Era. Um, it's another thing I do, though, plan on streaming to you guys very soon for Trains New Era. I just, I don't really like the gameplay too much. The in-cab and everything on Trains New Era. It's a cool game, though. 
I like the freedom that it presents to you. I like being able to just, you know, spawn and actually place your train wherever you want to on the map. That's actually a very cool function. I like that. 2% grade here, guys. 2%. Go track side real quick here. Oh, she's climbing. Look at that. She is climbing. Very nice. Alright, so we're passing the crest here, it looks like, of the grade. So we're going to do some down. So we're going to go ahead and drop throttle, restrict speed here just a bit. This is the Miramar crest, the grade here. Now that's a great dream. Running Southern Pacific, 44.49 all the way to the UK, and running it across the UK, that's an awesome dream, of, I do say. Alright, guys. Downhill, incoming. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, here comes the fun part. No dynamics. Just reusing this basically independent right now. The train brake, excuse me. Watch the speed. I'm going to drop it down to about probably 27. Let her modulate from there. And bear with me if I'm not reading the chat at this moment. I'm just paying attention to the brake. Making sure we don't go careening off the curve here. Nathan Tidwell! What's up, Nathan? My boy, how are you, Nathan? What's up, man? Hope you're having a great night. Welcome back to Hybrid Hobby. It's great to have you here. And what is Mallard's record? What is it? Well, definitely try to break it. I see no reason why not to. Watch that break there. Watch that break there, hybrid. Speeding. You're speeding, hybrid. Right, going down this. There's a gnarly grade. I have to make sure that brake's applied just a little bit more. This train's creeping away from our speed limit there. Doing great. Doing great. Thank you for asking. I've had a wonderful day here, had a long day at work, the office. Well, I call it the office, but it's more of my shop, my garage. I had a long day at the shop, and I told myself no matter what, I'm going to be here live to you guys. I think I goofed up the other day and put the stream schedule for Monday on accident. I do apologize. I had to change it. I apologize if anybody was here waiting for me, and I didn't come live on Monday night. But we are definitely here, and probably the next stream is going to be Friday. Friday night, most likely. Oh, Indonesia does not have steam engines anymore. I was just talking about Indonesia to a friend of mine today. That's funny. How ironic. Stop about going surfing over there. Beautiful country. We're talking about surfing? We're talking about coconut crab. He said it's delicious. His buddy over there had some Indonesian coconut crab. That's good stuff. Now we're watching the break. Watching the break. Yes, too bad 41 doesn't have a bell. It has a bell, but it just sounds... I don't know. It sounds like an electric bell. I don't know. It doesn't sound like the most highest quality thing to me. Ah, 126 mile per hour Liam comes back with. Interesting. That's fast. Is that that's mallet, huh? I don't know if daylight can do that by itself. I don't think it can break through the wind. I don't think it has enough aerodynamics like mallet does. Oh, this is my one of my favorite sections right here with that building in the background. It seemed to always come right here. 
That yeah, slowed us down significantly there. A little too hard on the brakes. Yeah, 44, 49 is regulating this grade pretty well, nice, guys. Uh, Nathan, this route is in Southern California. We did the San Clemente to San Diego on Sunday with the Surfliner. And I thought to celebrate with you guys this hot, hot week we've been having here in Southern California, I'd run the daylight back up the coast from San Diego to San Clemente. Yeah, I mean, with, the, with Mallet's aerodynamics, I see no reason why that thing wouldn't be the world's fastest steam loco. That thing's freaking sweet. I remember watching a video when I was a kid on Mallet and Flying Scotsman. Isn't the Flying Scotsman in Thomas now too? I think I saw that I was like, wow, that's cool. Actually made it a character. That's funny. Very, very ingenuitive. Yeah. The dang government's always forcing countries to dieselize, man. Getting rid of all the steam. It sucks. Just kidding. <laughs> How do you guys like those Chinese steam locomotives that we have here over here in the U.S. that Iowa Interstate runs? How do you guys like those? I'm going to be able to pick up a little speed here. Then we have that 90, guys. Look at that 90 mile per hour zone. It's smiling in our face. It's inviting us. It's going, hey, guys. Guess what? It's time to get the train up to speed! Alright guys, we're almost at the 90 mile per hour zone. This is going to be my favorite probably part of the stream here. Getting 44, 49 up to full speed. Let's see what we can do. We're at full throttle. As far as the reverser goes, and we're going to go ahead and get her rolling. And as soon as she crosses that 90 mark, guys, it's on. There we go, and we are crossing the 90 now. Waiting for the rest of the train to cross it. And we're clear. Ladies and gentlemen, this is daylight 4449 at full acceleration. There she goes. Let's see how we do, guys. Let's see if we can get her up to 90 and how quick we can. And a nice stretch right there. We're climbing. Many of you are familiar with this underpass right here. A lot of rail fans go here to take a lot of videos. We blast through Sorrento Valley Station. We're full throttle here. 90 mile per hour speed limit. You know, Liam, I'm sorry. I can't be more quiet. I do apologize, but we do have other viewers in the stream as well. So we have to think about everybody was streaming, so if you want, you could probably just turn your volume down a little bit, that would probably help. Regardless though guys, we are now at full speed. We've got 30 miles to go, 30 miles per hour to go to hit 90. Nice! I uh, IASQJ returning the speed. That's freaking sweet. I'm hyped too. Haven't seen her run in a while, that's nice, that's nice. Indonesian diesel locomotives. For America, they only save the tank engines now. Interesting. I'll have to do some look looking into that. Never really research Indonesian railways. Very cool. Very cool. Is there a coach view? Ah, coach view. Let's see. Yes! There is. I knew I put a dome on this freaking train for a reason. Look at that.
<laughs> and autocorrect can be a pain in the butt sometimes, I agree. Ah, uh, here we are on the lovely, this is one of my favorite cars, the dome right here. They're sitting all alone over there. You too, you guys enjoying your ride? Mr. This guy's kind of creepy. But anyways, we are rolling, guys. Let's get, see if we can actually move. There we go. Oh, look at these happy, happy passengers aboard the excursion. Yay. Hello. <laughs> How about the other cars? What else we got back here? It's got a typical chair car interior. The ghost car, I like to call it. No one in here. And yeah, oh, yes, how fancy. Very nice. Guys, I'll be right back. I got to the cab. We are coming up to the Del Mar Curve, I believe, actually coming up here very soon. So we're going to want to... Oh, no, Del Mar Curve's not coming up yet, but we do want to regulate the steam. Coming up, we have a 55 mile per hour zone. There's still a pretty big curve here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop speed. I agree, that's my dream too. That's funny, that's one of my bucket wishes. Uh, to go and ride on a 4449 excursion. Definitely, definitely one of my bucket wishes. Make sure we don't lose too much speed because we do have that 90 mile per hour zone right after this curve here. We do have to drop it down, like I said, to 55. Beautiful shot here amongst the coast. There's a bridge. There we go. Beautiful. Amongst the Pacific Ocean. Very nice, very tranquil. Alright. So we are rolling here. 90 mile per hour zone coming up. We're not gonna get it up too high. But again, we do have that 50 mile per hour zone coming up in a little bit less than a mile. Let it just cruise here. Ah, I've been in the cab of ATS 3751, yes. Same here, same here. I'm a Los Angeles local. I've been in it several times here. When it comes to, like, Fullerton Railroad days and stuff, it's a pretty cool thing to check out. Alright, so we don't want to go too fast. We're going to go ahead and make sure our speed is chilling here. We've got an 80, but it doesn't make much sense to go much faster than that because you got that 50 right after that. VNSF doesn't have an actual passenger train that they, you know, actually mark it as a BNSF passenger train. They have their, uh, their employee excursion, you know, passenger fleet. And then uh, some of the metro trains are actually operated by BNSF, believe it or not. When I worked at Amtrak, I actually found that out. And I was kind of scratching my head like, wow, that's crazy. Del Mar curve right here, guys, coming up straight ahead. Ah, you know, I've never run the surf line at night. I've never run it at night. It's a really good, really good, really good uh, idea there. We go along here, the Del Mar Bluffs, the Del Mar Curve, guys. That's beautiful Del Mar, if any of you guys have ever been to this beach. Alright, Del Mar's old station. Used to have an Amtrak station there. Yeah, I mean, suddenly, I mean, I feel like 4449 holds a very, 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 very specific place in a lot of people's heart. You know, definitely, I agree. Oh no, don't worry, don't worry. Your advice was being noticed. Don't worry. So I, sometimes I don't have time to answer everyone's comments, so don't worry, but I do read them if I can. Remember, we're operating a locomotive here. Alright guys, so we're coming up to the 90 mile per hour zone. We're gonna go ahead and speed it up here. Get us rolling. My favorite part is acceleration. And again, thanks, shout out to Tactical Tortoise with the heads up to keep it around 25 mile per mile percent on the reverse if you want some speed. All right. 
Don't worry. Don't worry. Math, you're, you, in, with, with that much time ahead of you till you graduate, you have plenty of time to perfect your mathematics. You don't really start using it until you get to college anyway, don't worry. Ah, can I go to Indonesia? You mean like IRL or in the game? Because I really want to go to Indonesia IRL. I've, like I said, I was talking to a buddy today about going to Indonesia. We have a buddy that kind of lives over there and comes back and forth for surf trips. So we are coming up to a 70, and then a 60 about a mile after that. Looks like we're going to diverge on the main, main two, I believe. Yeah, this is main two. Alright, so we're going to just cruise through Solana Beach. I got another beautiful area if you guys haven't been to Southern California. Oh, don't worry. We'll have a special stream for that one. A very special stream for that one. Alright, so we got that 60 coming up in less than a quarter mile, or right about a quarter mile, so we go ahead and regulate the speed. right around 60. I'm trying to maintain here. I don't want to lose too much. We're not really on a set schedule per se. But I do want to get this baby into San Clemente on time. If that even makes sense. Hey, you never know. You never know, FGC. The history of hybrid hobby is very, very, very uh, ambiguous. There's more, lots of things that could happen. Oh, that is 7221, you're right. Very cool. All right, so we're at 90 miles per hour, guys. We've cleared it, so we're going to go ahead and try to get her up to speed here. And this is for you, Liam. I'm not going to break Mallet tonight because I don't want to break the speed limit. I try to like to be, you know, IRL and real as much as possible. We're going to try to at least get to 90 miles per hour for you. See what we can do. Ah, we got a great crossing. Alright, so I don't think we're going to be able to hit 90, but we should hopefully at least be able to get to 80 and tag that and stay there. Hopefully up the ocean tub to Oceanside. And I think it goes back up to 90 after Oceanside. No, I'm not too familiar with that. What? Do tell me. What is that? All right. So we're coming into the Encinitas area. We're still in San Diego County. And one thing we discovered last time on the Surfline route is it doesn't like to give you many line side views when you do uh, the world or the, you know, the outside view map. It likes to just give you front on, you know, I don't know if that's map specific. It's definitely not locomotive specific. I've realized that. It must have something to do with the map. It's weird. Can you do a gameplay train simulator too? It's five dollars and ninety-nine cents. Simple, a good game, and yes, one of those trains games. But I think you would really like it. Follow the trains. It's really easy. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. All right, we're going to the Encinitas area. That's actually a cool area to rail fan. I don't know if it's a quiet zone though now. Ah, the election train. Very nice. Like Abraham Lincoln's train or what? I 
Now, this is nice. We got this baby up to speed right now. We're cleaning the 90, so... It's actually going to be cool. Oh, look! A line side view! It's about freaking time! Got a bunch of cars on our way, but... Finally, right? Oh! Watch my head. This is actually a really cool stretch attack track, too, in real life. Have you guys ever been to this area? With the surf liner running right through the middle here of town. It's really cool. And it's very high speed. There's a lot of cool restaurants right here to the right. You can just hang out and watch the train go by. Yeah, see, Nathan? You recognize this highway. You know what I'm talking about. Very cool section. And we are moving at speed, guys. Hard for me to even get the camera off. Ah, oh, thank you, Tactical. Thank you for looking out. You're gonna be my fireman for this stream. I'm gonna consider you the official fireman right now. As far as I know, I don't think it's ever crashed. No, nothing at all along that source. No derailment, no crash, no issues ever. And it's luck. It's a very lucky locomotive. I think that's why. I it's a very, very lucky engine. All right, here, guys. Look at the beautiful Pacific Coast right here. Look at this. This train is awesome. This thing is freaking sweet. We are freaking moving, guys. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to the speed limit. Looks like we got a 60 right there. I'm gonna slam on these brakes. Diverging. I don't want to go too fast and pop off the rails there. I don't want a wheel slipper either. There we go. Didn't lose too much terrible speed there. Not too bad. Back up to full throttle. Oh no! Oh, no problem, Tactical. Good looking out, like I said. Definitely. Especially when it comes to Steam. I always appreciate whenever we run Steam if there's, you know, members in the chat who have any ideas and pointers here of how we can do better at running it. Because we, you know, I run diesel quite a lot. I love high horsepower, I love turbochargers, but I also love Steam. So every now and then I will run Steam, and it's awesome to have, you know, help here and there from the chat. So thank you for that. A North County area is not a quiet zone. I was there the other day. A surf line with a P-42 on the head and blew through cars by the village with the horn blaring. Nice. Nice. Ah! Tactical Turtles! Welcome to Hybrid Hobby! Welcome to the Hybrid Nation! Welcome to the movement! The most scuffed, I mean most scuffed, real channel on YouTube. Welcome. Ah, and blow the horn there for some real fans at the Poinsettia station. It means so much. Every subscription, every member to the Hybrid Nation makes me grow stronger, makes me bring more content than you. You empower me. I do this for you. I do this for each and every real fan. For us. Thank you. Oh my god, that's sad! 844 struck a pedestrian a few weeks ago! Wow. Wow. That is sad, I didn't know that. Was that when it was, um, head-ending that, uh, that freight? Was it when it was running that freight train? It's not true, it did derail. You know, there's a video on YouTube that happened, the 707 for tender, the wheel fell off, oh, the tender derailed, wow. Interesting, Liam, thank you for that. Thanks for that little tidbit. How are we looking, guys? We're still in the 90 mile per hour zone. We're doing good here. Indonesian, India plus Canada, Los Angeles has four more worse actions like the Chatsworth tragedy. I'm 87. Ooh. You know, I was talking to my, um,. Oh, I know that power plant. Wow, that's cool. I know that one Carlsbad. I used to go camping right here. 
Ah, oh, Mr. Great crossing. Hopefully no one's in the track there. I was talking to my father yesterday about the San Bernardino crash when that Southern Pacific train, uh, runaway train down Cajon in the early 90s. It took out that neighborhood. That was crazy. Crazy. Cali Road Geek! Cali Road! What's up? Hello! Good evening! How are you? Welcome to Hybrid Hobby tonight. Hope you're having a great night, having a great day. If you're in Cali, like me, I hope you're staying cool. It was a really freaking hot day today. Good. Good to hear they got it back on the rails. Oh, on the Frontier Days train. So sad. So sad. Yeah, when I worked at Amtrak, um, I had to deal with a lot of, you know, trespasser strike issues, and that was... That was not fun. No, it was not fun. The rails are a dangerous place. Definitely want to be careful. Alright, I'm slowing it down here because we have a 60 coming up through Carlsbad Village. That 60 is going to be right there where that track goes to a single main again. And we're going to be probably running here from Carlsbad into Oceanside area. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you, Kelly. It was a hot day, man. Very hot here in SoCal area today. Nice, nice. Where are you at, Cali? I'm in Cali too. I'm in Southern California. I grew up actually right next to the to the SP. I used to see SP locals like twice a day. I know it's UP, but I grew up right next to SP as well. Very cool. And BNSF. I I grew up by SP and then moved and spent my second half of my childhood next to the BNSF track. Oh, the 17th of August is a special day for you and your country. Very nice, F. Very nice, FGC. Very nice. Oh, it's daytime over there. Ah, well, greetings. Greetings. I hope everything's going well. We're having a great start to your day. That's why you're saying you go to school. I was wondering. I was scratching my head. I was like, going to school tonight. But wait a second. You're in the Netherlands. That's awesome. Well, greetings. I hope you're having an awesome night. Thank you for watching Hybrid Harvey. It means a much to me. Put a smile on my face right now. We're going to go back to our throttle here. Look at that, I love 4449. Look at her charging away. Cali Road Geek! Did you just subscribe to Hybrid Hobby? Well, welcome. Welcome to Hybrid Nation. Welcome to Hybrid Frickin' Hobby. The most scuffed, and I mean scuffed, train channel and all of YouTube. Now it's for you. Welcome to Hybrid Hobby. Thank you for the sub, that means so much to me. Every sub, every follow, every mention, every comment, every like empowers us. It empowers the Hybrid Nation. It brings us more closer to a fully operation battle star. I'm just kidding. It makes us it makes us something greater, you guys. It brings us all together. It keeps the content churning. I do this for you, each and every one of you. Hybrid Hobby, welcome. We are going to the Oceanside area right now. We do have some great crossings through Oceanside. We are going to have to regulate our speed here. Coming up on a 55. A little bit less than a mile. Looks like we have an oncoming surf liner there, too.
Careful there. Keep your arms and hands inside the train, guys. All right. We can regulate our speed here as we blast through. Well, I don't want to say blast through anymore, but stroll through downtown Oceanside here. All right. 55 zone coming up here for a brief moment as we go around this curve. We're going to hit the 90, back to a 40, then to 75, and the 75 through carry should carry us through the uh, through the stretch of San Onofre area, Camp Pendleton area, to San Clemente, to our final destination here. Coming up soon, we've got about 20 miles to go, the 20 miles stretch here from Oceanside to San Clemente. Actually, a very cool stretch to actually ride in the train. If you guys ever get the chance and want to do it on the cheap, ride the Metrolink on the weekends. It's only $10. Gonna ride the whole route. It's awesome. Anytime, Cali Road Greek. Thank you for being here again. Yes, Tactical Tortoise, I have. I have heard of the Western Maryland Scenic. Oh god, I totally forgot about that 40. I got to keep looking at the chat. <laughs> I'm just gonna blast through that. Hopefully everyone's okay. I have, I have. Very cool. Very nice place. Don't they have um they have an F unit, don't they? As far as I remember, maybe in a magazine of trains I saw that one time. Ah, that's right, Cali Road Geek, you're right. Bells of the stations. You know what, I just... I can't stand the bell on this thing. I think it's too loud. It needs to quiet down a little bit. <laughs> you're right, I, I always forget I gotta stand to those rules a little bit more. There she goes, finally some line side views of her. Ah, oh, Liam is the chef. Oh, we oui, we. Oui. Right, we're gonna get her back to full throttle here, guys. Get some acceleration going. You can see up in the left-hand corner. That's where our speed and throttle is here. Those are the specs. We're on our final approach to the San Clemente area. Twenty miles to go. You guys, let's make this happen. Beautiful train. Nice, Cali Road! I love San Clemente. It's one of my favorite places to go in all of the... Just forever. I love it. I love eating there. I love... Oh, God, the restaurant on the pier. The Fisherman's Restaurant is one of my most favorite places to eat. It's amazing. All right, so I believe the speed is about 75 still through here. Go ahead and maintain that speed. The 90. We're back at 90, so we're going to get back to our throttle. Good full throttle for our blast into San Clemente. Ah, they use Jeep 30s now. Interesting. Oh, yes! They're restoring CNO 1309. That's where I've heard it from. Is that the YB6? Is that, a, is that what that classification is of that mallet? I think it's a YB... I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. You know, actually, I might be honest with you guys, look into modifying 4449 in the game here. I've heard there's some really cool sound packs out for it, so I would be really interested in modifying it. That's a nice picture. And I always take a couple photos here for the thumbnail and Twitter and stuff like that. I haven't actually posted on Instagram in a while. I used to post hybrid hobby stuff on Instagram quite a, quite often, but I haven't for a while. That one might have been a little close up. All right, guys. We're making our run here. Ah, oh, an H6. There you go. An H6. Okay. I knew it was something with the six. Alright, let's see how fast we can get. This is going to be probably the highest speed section of the whole trip right now. Ah, that Amtrak Loco, that is a Dash 8. And that's what is providing our head-in power today. 
to our consist? Good question. Very good question. Go ahead and get back to that. That, Liam, is, a like I said, a Dash 8 locomotive. And that's what's providing the head and power to the consist. Actually, one of my favorite locomotives is Dash 8. I love Dash 8s. I'm actually very, very stoked for the Raton Pass uh, DLC coming out very soon, guys. And you know you're going to see that here first. I can't wait for that. That's going to be awesome. Actually, I got an idea. Hold on. Take a better picture here. Let's see. And uh, I can't wait to use the Dash uh, Dash 840 uh, VW with the Raton Pass route. I'm really looking forward to that, guys. I'm actually really... That's probably, probably one of the most... Ex things, the biggest thing that I've been excited for on Train Simulator is the Raton Pass route. And we... Oh, crap! Guys, we have the STP-40F coming out! That's right! STP-40F coming out, about to drop the Amtrak STP-40F. That's one of my... That's my, actually my all-time favorite diesel locomotive, so I'm very, very hyped about that. That's gonna be really cool. Ah, you recognize the accent? Uh, well, good question. That's a good question. I am James. It's funny you ask. My name is James, the host of Hybrid Hobby. I, uh, I don't really have a... quite an answer for that, to be honest with you, mate. I don't have to say. I, my parents uh, were born and raised in Los Angeles. I don't know where this accent came from. I just... just I don't know. It just got stuck with me. It's crazy. All right, so we're going to regulate our speed here. We're coming up to 40 miles per hour. <laughs> um. Oh, man, I almost stalled. Uh, come on, don't drop the speed too much, hybrid. Now listen to it chug away. Listen to that. Sounds nice. All right, there we go. Should be good. All right. Oh, definitely heard of Unstoppable. Every real fan has to watch Unstoppable. That's Denzel, man. Although he still reminds me of uh, Alonzo from Training Day. That's what cracks me up. Oh, very nice, FGC. Very nice. I always love history. All right, we're cleared at 90 miles per hour again. No worries, FGC. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you today. It's been awesome. You have a great rest of the day. Have a great day at school. Thank you for bringing Hybrid Hobby across the globe. Oh, I had to grab a drink of water there. Thank you. Thank you. Bye not. Bye not. Have a great, great evening. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. Thank you again for being part of Hybrid Hobby. The Hybrid Nation. The Hybrid Movement. Hybrid Hobby. Thank you. You have a great night. You take care. I'll see you this Friday, right? Friday or this weekend. Oh, Cali Road's taking off too. Cali Road, have a good night. Have a great night. Have a wonderful evening. Same to you. Have a great day tomorrow. I will see you soon. Thank you for sub subbing. Thank you for the sub. Ah, if I were to add a US route to train simulator, what would it be? Good question. It looks like yours would be the Western Maryland, Maryland Sand Patch Grade. Pretty sweet. Nice. Good choice. I would say if I were to add a route, that is a very, very good question. But I really, really, really want an extension of the Surfline route, this route. I want an extension from Fullerton to San Bernardino. So we can officially run a train from Los Angeles Union Station, Southwest Chief, and I can officially run it all the way to Boston. And then I can stop at all the stations. I really, really want, that's an awesome, 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 awesome route. A lot of high-speed freight action. That's the route I, I live by right here. I live right next to the BNSF Transcon here. 
And, uh, you know, where it branches off from Fullerton, goes to the Anaheim Hills, Yorba Linda area. And I, that's what I really want. I want that section, basically from Fullerton to San Bernardino Yard. Ah, you really see watch the Super Troopers 2, it's hysterical. Ah, part 1 was amazing, that was a classic. I can only imagine, hopefully part 2 is just as good, if not better. Awesome! Of course, FGC, of course! By all means, share this! Share this as much as you can with the world, I would be most honored. That would be an honor. That would be an honor. You have my full permission. Share it, add it to any playlist as much as you want, no problem, no problem. Again, I do this for us, I do this for the real fans, I do it for you, I do it for community, for the world, for the train world, the real fan world, for all of us. What country do I live in? I live in Southern California, United States of America, America, USA, right here in Los Angeles. I do. No worries, actually, that's awesome. Oh, that's so cool, you take a motorbike to school too? Oh my god, that's freaking cool. That's cool, that's really cool. Right now we're going about 70 miles per hour. We're on a 90 mile per hour zone here. This is the San Onofre area, running along the Pacific Ocean right here. Very high speed stretch of uh, single track main line here in Southern California. Oh, what state is Farmington? Is that in Illinois? Liam, is, Farm is Farmington in Illinois? I remember that from Amtrak almost. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. I will be live again Friday night. Um, Pacific Standard Time, that'll be 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time Friday. I'm not sure exactly what time that'll be in uh, the Netherlands, but you can check it out maybe with on Google Conversion. But yeah, about 8 p.m. Friday night. I'll put this. Don't worry, I'll put the stream schedule on uh, YouTube. I'll make sure I set that in the morning when I'm confirmed for sure. Absolutely tactical. Every day here in Southern California is, is a freaking crazy day, man, on the rails. Uh, there's a lot of content. Um, check, check. I have a playlist. I of all my IRL rail fanning videos here in the Southern California area. Go ahead and check them out if you want to. See what it's like here, living here. There's a lot more to come. I'm gonna be, again, spending a lot more time with Hybrid Hobby, guys. I haven't been spending the most time with it here in the last, probably, you know, last year. But I'm gonna go hard now. It's gonna go, gonna go off. So you guys can expect to get a lot of cool content coming. Yes. 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Friday. 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Friday. We'll be departing the, on the Hybrid Express. Yes, no, I understand Farmington is in America, Liam, but I asked what state it was in, brother. What state? That's what I said, it's Farmington in Illinois? Farmington, Illinois? Uh, FGC, I will, it will be the... It'll be Pacific Standard Time, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Los Angeles time. All right, we're clear for 90 miles per hour again, so we're gonna go full throttle here. A line side view here along the coast here in San Onofre. I used to go camping here when I was a kid. My parents used to take me here. Very nice. I love the coasting sounds of the cars there. Oh! Sure, save it. <laughs> oh, that's a cool little... S curve there coming in here. Got about seven and a half miles, or a little bit less than seven miles to go to the San Clemente station. And we are gonna be going down right now, so we might actually be able to catch some speed here. Ah, very cool, very cool. So we're gonna be, I say at least maybe get up to 80, but we're gonna have to reduce that speed in about a mile and a half to 60. And then right after that, we're gonna bounce back up to 70. But we'll see how we do here. We're passing 
For those of you familiar with the area, San Onofre Nuclear Power Plant, right here. The large cooling towers that are very, very famous. Daylight 4449 passes it. Oh no! Hold on, hang with me. All right, sorry about that. Taking some screenshots just to edit later on. There we go, guys. Cruising along the Cali coast. Ah, oh, we've reached our highest speed of the night, 81 miles per hour. And I'm gonna have to quickly reduce her because we are coming up onto that 60. Oh, late train simulator. I'm doing the Los Angeles route. I'm not joking. Nice. Very cool. Very cool, man. Yes. Yes, definitely. I grew up with the Queen Mary. You just put a smile on my face. I love the Queen Mary. Actually, I think TwitchCon was on the Queen Mary last year. Very cool. Nice, NKP765, yes. 765 is a freaking cool locomotive, I agree. And every time you see a steam loco in real life, it's absolutely breathtaking. Especially large steam locomotives. Any steam locomotive, for the nonetheless. I was at the, the Orange Empire Railway Museum out here in Lake Paris area. Paris, California. Not Lake Paris, it's Paris. And uh, they have a little 060, a little steam engine that runs and even that thing puts you know your chest just beats with every thump of the pistons it's amazing see you later FJC absolutely that's for you that's for you FJC have a great day have a great day all right We'll see ya. Take care. Alright, so we're gonna get her back up to 70 here. We got San Clemente Pier coming up in about three miles. And we're gonna be passing the trestles area right now. But we just did kind of pass trestles. We're in trestles. For those of you familiar with SoCal area. She skirts along the bridge there. Into the San Clemente area, guys. So we're going to be heading into San Clemente Beach right now. Listen to that GE loco. I think I love the way the GE's purr. Alright, so we're going to be skirting along San Clemente Coast here. Pacific Ocean, guys, one of my favorite, actually. Let's see if we can get some cool screenshots here. See what I can do. See if I can work some hybrid magic. It's hard with those rocks. I thought those rocks would be a little more cinematic. That, not as good as I wanted it to be. But oh well. So we're going to watch our speed here. Like I said, we're coming into San Clemente State Beach area. Piers about less than two miles away. In the home stretch, guys. Watch our speed. Nice. Nice. UP Challenger. Beautiful loco. Awesome loco. I've never seen that in person. I've only seen 4014 when it was here at the museum before they towed it away. But 4014 is a beautiful freaking locomotive too. It's massive. Massive. No, no, Liam, I w I'm not too sure about that, actually. It's a good question. Ah, hogwash. Alright guys, we are approaching San Clemente Pier here. We can see it off in the distance there.
skirting along the Pacific Ocean here with our beautiful excursion here tonight. Very nice. See you, gaming FGC. Have a good night. I mean, a good day. Take care. Have a great day. Thanks again for everything. All right, guys. Coming in the, it's the pedestrian bridge here. It's the Saint Clemente Pier. Just came into view. I agree, 44.49 does break really good. But we got the diesels helping us too, I believe. All right, on a final approach, the San Clemente area. Bell here. There's a crossing right here, yes. Coming up, but that's the crossing at the station, though. Let's go ahead and bring her all in nice and slow here. Can we get a nice spot at the station, huh, guys? Where are we at? Uh, there's the station. Baby, come in. Ah, oh, very nice. Right along the Pacific Ocean here. This is my screenshot right here. The one we've been waiting for all stream. Ah, hogwash. All right, we're here at the San Clemente station watching our beautiful train come in. Let's see if we're like right here, like we're really here. Very cool. Get those brakes applied. Slam them on. And we are coming to a stop here. Very nice. Whew. Very cool. So, still leave room for the pedestrians. All right. Guys, we made it. We made it. We did it. Yes. All right. Now arriving, San Clemente! This will be the final stop. Make sure you have all your belongings. We will be holding here for quite some time. I'd like to thank everyone. I'd like to thank everyone who rode along with us tonight. I'd like to thank every passenger, every new subscriber. Every member of the Hybrid Nation. We've made it, you guys. This is San Clemente. That was a cool little run. That was nice. I feel refreshed. I think I'm gonna sleep good tonight after that, guys. Tell me, Fireman Tortoise, what you got? Oh, man. That was good, guys. That was good. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you. Drinking my water here. Well, guys, that was it. That was fun. I had a blast. I love running 4449. It's, an, it's a beautiful locomotive. I love hearing it at full throttle. Love going full steam with it. Look at that thing. I mean, even behind this little prompt that came up, it's still it's such a beautiful locomotive. You guys rock. Ah, that's an awesome locomotive too, the S160, yes, that's a good idea, I might have to run that, I really, you know, tactical, I want to do some, um, some short line steam, you know, some lower speed, kind of curvy, kind of branch line steam excursions too, so definitely want to run that, I will have that coming, so definitely a good idea. Well guys, again, it was a pleasure, it's always a pleasure. I have to t take off for the night, have to get going, I have some stuff to do here before I hit the sack, hit the hay, go to bed, put my head down, retire for the evening, whatever you may want to call it. I hope to see each and every one of you though, this Friday night, 
at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here on Hybrid Hobby for our next run. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I am out. It was a great night. Kansas City Rail Fan, Tactical Tortoise, Chris Scott, Liam Singris, Nathan Tidwell, FGC Gaming. You guys all know who you are. You are the Hybrid Nation. This is Hybrid Hobby. We will soon become the most powerful, most dominant rail channel in all of YouTube history. Only time will tell. The future is bright. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. Thank you. Hybrid Hobby out.